Hey everybody and welcome to the Christmas special of Noisyworks where we are going to give away 10 kilograms of filament and resin, do some unboxing and talk about the future of the channel. But first of all, because this is going to be a very casual video, I'm going to pour out my favorite drink and it's going to be this blonde beer called Laffe from Belgium. So if you ever visit Belgium, give this beer a try. I bet you enjoy it. For most people, Christmas time is about celebrating with their friends and family. Of course, it's getting dark outside and there are always people that are not that blessed and are celebrating this time of the year alone. Maybe a bit sad and depressed. So I would say go grab a beer and let's drink one together. Skol. All right. First of all, a big shout out to Yamhi for sponsoring five kilograms of resin to give away to you guys. And I'm going to double it and I'm going to give five more kilograms of Yamhi filament to you guys. So we will have two winners. You must be from Europe, UK of uh, the freedom country America. To win these prizes, you will have to subscribe to the channel, click the like button of this video and enter the secret code that I will tell you during the video. It's important that you watch this complete video. It's good for the algorithm and it's making me happy. <laughs> So thank you Yanghee for sponsoring the resin. There will be some links down below where you get 10% more off of every purchase that you do from the Yanghee website or the Amazon links that will be down below. They are not affiliated. I'm not making any money out of it. I just wanted to give everybody a joyful Christmas time and giving away some useful stuff like resin and filament. So like I said, this is going to be a very casual video, drinking some beer. And by the way, thank you guys. This beer was sponsored by you guys. There were a lot of you that supported the channel using the link down below and sending me five bucks to get one. So this one is for you. So the first box is from Fix Dry. They contacted me a week ago asking me if I wanted to take a look at it. And this is going to be some kind of uh, filament dryer. All right, so they are a fairly new company. So I'm not expecting anything crazy in this box. It's fairly light. So what do we have here? All right, so they used the outer shell to protect the electronics, which is nice. We have some nice cushioning inside and this is going to be the top lid of the filament dryer. And right over here we have a little baggie with some PTFE tubing to go from the filament dryer to your printer. Great. And this is going to be the dryer and I have to say I was not expecting high quality. I have to say I'm already quite surprised. This has a nice outer finish. It looks like some kind of brushed aluminum, I think. And there is room for two spools in here, which is going to be very interesting. So this was the first thing you can expect a review in a couple of weeks of the fixed dry filament dryer. Now let's put this back away and open the next shipment. Before I open the next box, I wanted to show you this. So this is going to be my impact tester going on into the future, doing some more resin testing. And we are also going to do some filament testing. So the way this works is going to be very easy. You hold the hammer like this, you put in a test piece. So these are going to be the test pieces. This is a piece of PLA. Then we we rotate this thingy over here and then we let it smack. And the number right here is going to say how much impact it resisted. And right now I'm seeing about 5% for this PLA piece. Let's try that again. And so it seems that the impact tester is actually quite consistent. So this filament rejected 5% of the force hitting with the hammer. I made a public post a couple of weeks back to get a name for this thing. I'm still not happy with all the names that I got. So if you want to name this thing, comment down below. Wrong answers only. So this is actually something that was sent by Moreno from Macflex Plate. Because we are working 
excuse me, because we were working on a video on the ACF. I have tested the ACF on the Jupiter, I have done some pull tests on it, and I have done some speed printing. All those little aliens right over here, those were all from the testing from that. And because my ACF is totally ruined, Moreno completely hooked me up with this pool of six meters of ACF. So uh, yeah, quite safe to say I'm not running out of ACF soon. Thank you so much Moreno. And then now it's time for the next box. This box actually is from the people from Polymaker. Now, I have met the people from Polymaker in my visit at Formnext, where I talked about their PVB branding of filament. PVB is a kind of a PLA that melts using isopropanol. And when I talked about my secret project that is standing right over there, and I'm going to show you in a few, they were very excited to help me out figuring out if the thing that I'm doing really works or if I'm making another paperweight. So they have sent me a care package to look at their filaments and their way of smoothing using IPA. So I'm very interested in what they sent me. It's actually a very heavy box. So Martin from Polymaker, thank you so much for sending this to me. And this is looking awesome. First of all, we have a huge bunch of peanuts. And we can see our first box. And this is a nebulizer. This is the nebulizer. This, those are the boxes right over here. This is going to be used with their smoothing machine, which is probably going to be right in here. So first, let's take a look. We also have a nice product portfolio with all the stuff that they probably are selling and making. This is going to be a very interesting book. Oh, nice. So this is actually something really handy. So they made a booklet where you can see like the uh, Polyflex TPU 95 with the print speeds and then with the material properties right over here. So this is a really nice booklet. If you're not sure what filament you should buy, they have obviously done all the testing for you. And like you can see, this is the Polylite PLA. And then you can see what the strengths and weaknesses are right here and how it's probably made and all of that. So this is a really nice booklet if you are into the Polymaker filaments and you're not sure what you want to buy. Wow, they went, they really went above and beyond. So we have another huge box right over here. <laughs> Guys, you hooked me up real nice. Ah! All right, what do we have over here? So we have our first box. This is Polylite PLA Pro. And I see a lot of other filaments right over here. So let's take them all out. Dear Lord, <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh my God, we have so much filament going on. <laughs> it's just getting ridiculous. We are now having one, two, three, four, five, ten 10 boxes. This is, these are almost 20 boxes of filament. What the hell guys? <sighs> I need to get a sip of this. All right, on to the next box. So they actually sent a second one. All right, so this is probably going to be their version of the PVB smoother. Yes, sir. This is the Polisher 2nd edition. So there seems to be a first edition and this is the Polisher edition 2. All right, so this is the Polisher from Polymaker. This is actually their second edition. I don't have the first edition, so I can't, I can't tell you what the differences are going to be. But first, let's look at the Polisher, right? Now, the reason why I am so interested at their polishing machine is because I have one of you guys, one of you viewers, reaching out to me, asking me if I can build a bigger one. So one of the major complaints of the uh, polisher from Polymaker is that it is quite on the small size. So anything huge, like a complete bust or something like that, is not going to be possible in this polisher. So he reached out to me. Dear Lord. Stuff falling out of 
there's stuff everywhere now. <laughs> so the main problem is that the things that he makes is too small for this polisher. So he reached out and he actually asked me if I can build him one that is bigger. Now I'm not an engineer, but I do have quite the high, uh, how do you call it, tinkery level. So I like to tinker a lot. And I said, sure, but I'm going to try something. So I made my own polisher and I'm calling it the Mega Smoother or the Ultra or I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to call it, but it's going to be a Mega Smoother. It's going to be the XXL version of this one. And I'm going to show it to you in a few. But first, let's look at the Polymaker version of the polisher. I can already tell you that the polisher from Polymaker is going to be way more professional than mine. Mine is a DIY project and I'm thinking of just making it uh, open source-ish. So that means that you will be able to download it for a very small fee to pay off my work. But if you want to do revisions on it and you want to share it with the people, then by all means, feel free to do so. Now, first of all, we are greeted with the accessory box. And then inside we have the polisher. And I have to say that it looks bigger than I was thinking. So it's not that small. So first look is that this polisher is not that small. I was really of the presumption that this was a lot smaller than this. So this is looking like a really cool machine. All right, there we are. So this is their version of the polisher and it is really looking like a very professional machine. So yeah, I have to compete against this thing. <laughs> All right, so we have seen it. I will leave this, the rest of the unboxing for the video because I am going to test the polisher, of course. I have it, so why wouldn't I? Now I have to find the spot, so okay. Let's put it over here right now. So the accessory box is probably for all the cables and the spinny thingy and all of that. And they even include this little suction Pipette. Now, pipette is a French word for I don't know. <laughs> and this is probably to remove the IPA. So this is using IPA. It is a lot better than acetone smoothing with ABS. So it's going to be healthier to use than ABS and acetone. And this is the little pipette. <laughs> All right, let's put it back in the box. So these uh, what do they call it? Nebulizers are for the poly smooth machine. So these are the things that are going to vaporize the IPA into a fine mist so that the machine can vaporize the whole complete build space and smooth the filament. And that's why they sent me all of this filament and especially the PVB poly smooth alcohol smoothable PVB filament. So these are all poly smooth PVBs. And for what I have to believe, this filament is just as easy as PLA. Let's, let's open one up. So this filament is supposed to be very easy to smooth and very easy to print like PLA. So they stepped away from the plastic spools. They are going full cardboard. And I actually saw one of the streams of Polymaker where somebody, I don't know who it was, uh, talks about the uh, cardboard that was surrounding the filament. So right now we still see a lot of plastic spools and he was explaining that making plastic spools these days is still a lot cheaper than it is than making these cardboard ones. And you would say, plastic is expensive? Well, there you have your answer. Plastic is dirt cheap and trying to do something sustainable is costing a lot of money. So you will have to give credit where credit is due for all the manufacturers of filaments that are using recyclable spools like this one. Great job guys, I love to see it. So the PolySmooth PVB is going to be used to smooth filament. Take this for instance. So this has a lot of layer lines on it. So if you would take this thing and you would put it in the polisher and after a few hours you would take it out, that most of these layers will be smoothed out. So for what is that interesting? For this for instance, you want to see no real layer lines on this thing. So you will be having to put this into the smoothing machine and then it will 
almost come out like this. Now, one thing he told me, and maybe you can watch the video, it's going to be right up there, that if you sand it up front before you put it in the smoother, the smaller that the uh, layers are visible at the beginning, the better the result will be of the smoothing. This, this is true for almost everything, also for the ABS smoothing. Now, like I said, I am working on my own smoothing device. And before I'm going to take it, I'm going to tell you how you can win this giveaway. So if you want to win this giveaway, like I already told you, make sure you're subscribed and can see it if you're subscribed or not. So make sure that you're subscribed, give this video a big thumbs up and give me the answer to the following. Is Madonna a virgin? Hey! <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's take this smoother out. Oh yeah, and let me know if you want the filament or the resin. This is my version of the smoothing machine. You cannot see what's inside right now, but wait a minute. So because we are still in the untested phase, I have just wrapped it very cheaply with some uh, cellophane wrap, or I don't know what it is. It's very cheap. It's a huge roll that they used to paint. So I wrapped everything around and I have sealed it with some tape to use with the IPA. So, so just like the polisher from Polysmooth, there will be a lot of jets inside. I'm going to give you a look. So right now the door is just a whole bunch of tape that you cut into. And every time I do this, I have to re-tape the whole, uh, let's call it the mega smoother. And this is my version of the smoothing machine. So we have two fans right over here. These are connected via ducting to a platform underneath. So this build plate is fully perforated so all the air can go through. Why? Because we want to have alcohol vapor. This is going to suck up the alcohol vapor and it will blow it through these holes, smoothing the inside if you are using a hollow object. Then right over here, underneath those red covers, so this is one of those red covers, there will be three, um, how do they call it, um, ultrasonic vaporizers, I think it's called. They use these mainly with water and some uh, oil to give a good smell in the house. Well, I'm using this to vaporize the alcohol. Now, right here in the corners, there will be four jets blowing all the air upwards, sucking up the alcohol and blowing it all upwards so we have a nice circulation in this platform and then we have these fans sucking it up and blowing it through this thingy right over here so right over here we have a controller this is uh, going to be used to set a time now it's set at 60 seconds so if i push this button the timer of 60 seconds will begin then you will have this button this is going to activate the uh, vaporizers in the back and then we have two switches one is going to be for the uh, rotation of the build plate and the other one will be for activating the fence and there will be a third one for the lights that is going to be on top of there so there is a built-in power supply in here it's going to uh, use five volts to keep it nice and safe because the higher the voltage the more chance we have on sparking and because we are using alcohol we don't want to see any sparking and go boomy boomy so right here we have the glass top that is going to provide alcohol to the ultrasonic jets upstairs, a bit like the nebulizers, only the cheaper uh, AliExpress way. <laughs> So you can expect this in a couple of months to be released if it works. If it doesn't work, it's just another paperweight that I made. But hopefully this is going to be something very useful to do some large smoothings. And for instance, if you are printing a helmet from the Mandalorian or something like that, there is currently nothing that you can use to smooth it except for ABS with a large bucket and all of that. And this is going to house more than one, actually, helmet of Mandalorian or anything like that. And it's going to smooth it just perfectly i hope <laughs> all right so those are the things that you can look out for i still have to do the review of the algo saturn 3 ultra which is going to be very interesting because i will link this bit together with a file that you can download and try out yourself i have a lot of young he resins that i have to test i have other brands like for instance I have uh, acidity, I have, uh, yeah, I have so much stuff coming in. I have some Sunlu laying around. So there will be a lot of resin testing going on. So a final shout out to Young He for providing the free resin to give to you guys. Make sure to comment down below what you would like to win, uh, the resin or the filament, and if Madonna is still a version. <laughs> All right. 
Also, don't forget there will be coupons down below for Amazon and the official site of Yangmi giving you a 10% off of everything. And there is still a big giveaway running from Yangmi themselves on their Facebook page. I will link it down below where you can win some more filaments and resin. And then finally, I want to conclude with the following. This has been an amazing year for me. I have visited Fornext. I have made a lot of new friends. I have met a lot of companies and a lot of them just started ignoring me after they knew who I was. <laughs> Very funny thing, right? So first of all, in Fornext, they were all so happy to meet me and to talk with me. Then I give them my visit card. And then probably after they watched some of my videos, they were going like, hmm, this man is very critical and we don't like it. So I finally want to conclude with what I'm planning on 2024 as you have seen I will be planning to release this huge smoother we are going to do a lot of fun stuff with the polymer maker I have uh, more dryers than that one I'm going to buy a few of them we have a buttload of filaments and resins that we are going to test out. Probably some more printers. I'm, I'm planning on buying a Varon. I, I always wanted to have a Varon 2.4. So I'm probably going to buy one this year. So this is going to be my full disclosure to you guys for the next year. And there, is, there are a few things that are going to change. First of all, I am very happy with the brands uh, I had this year. A lot of them were very cool. They just sent me some of their samples and I was free to test and say whatever that I wanted. Now that the channel is gaining more views and traction, I am getting requests from uh, brands I never heard of before or even very known brands that just absolutely give some... Uh, shit terms uh, to me to be able to get some free samples so this is going to be very simple if i do not have the freedom to review it as i want it which means that they don't see the video just at the same time like you do so they will see the video when you do they have no saying in what i have to say they just it's going to be very simple. They send stuff to me, I review it, and I show it to you guys, because I think it's very important that there are honest reviews uh, out there on YouTube. There's a lot of fake shit going on, and I'm not standing for any of it. I just want to give you my truly honest opinion. And if a company is giving me a hard time getting a free sample, then screw them. I'm just going to buy it from now on. So far, uh, the only things that were uh, provided for free were uh, resins and filaments. I had some flex plates uh, that were provided for free at the end. I started paying for them at the beginning. So uh, I'm going to try and draw a line in that and that's going to be if they are not able to provide them for free without trying to push an opinion then it's very clear to me that we are not going to work with them and i'm just going to buy the products so if any brands are watching this and you want to reach out to me make note of it you can ship anything to me that you want you will have no saying on what i'm saying or showing to the people this is going to be always my honest opinion first and the rest later so I found that it was really important for me to say to you guys that, uh, that you can expect true and honest reviews. And if you feel like that I am cheating or I am doing something wrong, please let me know. Keep me down to earth. I am not in it for the money. And, and contrary, <laughs> this channel costed me probably a few thousand euro uh, since the start I uh, did it. But I treat it as a hobby project and not as something I want to earn a lot of money out. As you can see on most of my videos, they are not affiliated links. The links down below will not be affiliated because I honestly don't care about the money. I can afford all the testing I am doing right now. It's taking some time to get some stuff because some stuff is really expensive like the Jupiter was my first really expensive purchase the Voron uh, not sure on which version I'm uh, switching between the LDO one and the Formbot one because the price difference is about double so I'm still a bit in debate with myself if I'm going to purge for the uh, double priced LDO or if, or if I'm going to be going for the uh, more reasonable priced format. Maybe let me know down below what you want me to see reviewed uh, from the Vorons. So like I said, I'm not in it for the money. You can expect all reviews in the future to be unbiased and truly honest if something is bad i'm going to call it out if something is good i'm going to say it anyway so uh, yeah it's been a great year for me the videos really got a high bump the last few months i want to thank you guys for uh, supporting the channel even if it's five bucks just to give you an idea what five bucks can do on a channel if you even would watched 
a thousand videos of me in a row, the, the channel would earn less than four bucks of you. <laughs> Just to give you a little idea what I make on the video, if I have 10,000 views, that's around 30 bucks. So that's not a lot. And that's fine, I don't care. But if you want to support the channel, then uh, giving me five bucks in the link down below is all going to my beer tab, like this one. And uh, I'm thanking you so much for it. All the people that did in 2023, thank you so much. It is more than I can ever ask of uh, you guys doing. Because I want to keep everything out of a Patreon or a YouTube member subscription. It's all money grabbing. I don't care about that. If the channel grows big enough, then the uh, monetization effect of YouTube will ramp up in the same way. And then at that point, the channel will be self-sustainable and that is more than enough of me. And maybe now and then we will have some sponsors on the channel, but uh, something also really ha handy to know for you guys is that I already rejected a sponsor. It was just so a bunch of shit that they were trying to sell that I was like, yeah, uh, you know what, uh, keep your stuff to yourself and I'm going to do my thing. Then we, I had a reach out from the people from Voxel Dance, that is the Tango Slicer that came with the Algo Satin 3. They also reached out to me to do some paid content to mainly explain to you guys about the slices and all the functions and all that. But honestly, I am not skilled enough, I think, to really go into the slicer and look at the, the differences between that and for an NG2 box, for instance. So uh, there are a lot more knowledgeable people than me that are going to do a lot better job than me. And honestly, if it's 50 bucks, it's not worth my time. I'd rather do something I enjoy. And, Keep it a hobby like I'm doing right now and sharing all my experiences with you because that's the way how the channel started. I just wanted to know how something really worked instead for all those uh, fake reviews or biased opinions that you can uh, see on YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed this little Christmas unboxing that I did, the future planning that is uh, coming in 2024 and um, uh, the big giveaway that you guys are getting. So again, big thank you to Young He for sponsoring me the five bottles of resin and the five uh, filament spools that I'm providing to two of the winners. So one will get the resin and one will get the filament spools. And it's very simple. Like, subscribe and comment. Hey! That's all that you have to do. All right, that's gonna be it for me. I'm going to enjoy my Christmas with the rest of my beer and I see you in the next one.